podcast, I would share a bit about alignment in this video. I have, I would have so much to share, but let's start with a couple of basics and also misunderstandings. So what is alignment? What is it to you would be my question, because it doesn't have, in my opinion, a fixed definition. Alignment means things all being in one line, like outlined, right? That would be the definition. What it means to me is that you are fully aligned with who you truly are, your values, what you believe in, what you stand for, who you are as a person, meaning there is no difference between how you're showing up in the world and your actions on one side and your values, who you are, what you stand for on the other side. So if I would talk about myself, I can tell you that many years uh, when growing up, when you're discovering who you are, that is one big adventure in trying to understand the world and yourself, right? If you're struggling with things, please know this is all part of that process of finding alignment. I believe the entire journey we go through as humans is about finding more alignment. And we're never there, which is okay. It's an ongoing process. That's the beauty of it. You can always find more alignment. Even if you find yourself in a place where you go, Oh, wow, I am so happy. I, I, I've achieved what I wanted. I feel at ease with myself and the world and where I am. You'll be surprised that there's actually next levels of joy, ease, happiness, and alignment after that. People have been trying to understand how our universe works for ages, and we are all free to choose how we turn that into a concept that allows us to understand and receive the unconditional love that is here for us in the universe. Because I believe the core of the universe is ease, comfort, allowing, unconditional love. So whatever your interpretation, your convictions, your beliefs are, you are right, even if they may not be what I would believe or your neighbor would believe. That is one of the core things to understand. We can all choose how we are willing to believe there is this unconditional love taking care of us, available to us, and how we can accept and allow to feel that in our lives and allow that flow of the natural processes of unfolding and creating and receiving and being. So that is a starter. And then, so to me, that means that you're in full alignment when you live your life according to what you know to be true for yourself and who you feel you are, who you are. And I was saying, I've struggled a lot when I was growing up and then when I was studying and then when I was in my first jobs, because I ended up in places, and this is what we need to evolve, where I wasn't living a life that was in alignment, but I was learning as I was experiencing all this contrast of working a high demanding, fast paced, maybe even corrupt to a certain point, um, organizations and seeing, seeing that this is not what I believe. These people don't believe what I believe. I need to move on. And that is how I ended up starting my own business in 2007 after having worked for nine, eight, nine years in all kinds of organizations that just didn't feel like I belonged there. Like it doesn't nourish me. So alignment is designing your life making choices and decisions, even the tough ones, that allow you to live according to your values. I believe no matter how cruel some people may show up in life, each human being at its core, his or her core, is love, unconditional love. We all came from the same source of unconditional love. We are all still unconditional love. But when we're not in tune with that, or we're not experiencing and feeling and allowing that, we may do things that aren't aligned 
with the unconditional love and the divinity that we all are. So that is our first job, is to reconnect with unconditional love for all. And then feeling with each small thing in our life, what's the most aligned thing to do or to say, or to not do or not say. So if you're looking for more alignment, the first thing that I want to share with you or tell you or advise you to do, and I've said this to all of my clients, is just start with the small things. So you may be feeling like, how do I live a more aligned life? Like you may be feeling you're not in the right place, maybe where you live, where you work, or the people that you're meeting, or the one you're married to, or the friends that you have, or your family. And then it feels like such a huge shift if you would have to change all of that to find more alignment. And then you might even question, I'm not sure if that is the aligned thing to do. Like if I would tell that friend I don't want to see them anymore, I just simply don't contact them anymore, how can I be sure that that is aligned? You know, I, I feel there's misalignment, but how do I know what is aligned? So just start by practicing, practicing Get to know your body and intuition and your soul in the way that they talk to you. This is the second thing I wanted to share with you. And that is thinking opposed to feeling, or maybe the two of them together, but let's focus on the difference. We have all been trained to think. This is centuries of programming that we've all been in as a collective. So we have been programmed and trained in school and just through the society as it's been constructed over thousands of years to think about everything. So when we make a decision, we have our gut that we mostly follow. If you're interested in this topic, you probably do. And then we don't escape the part where our brain is trying to understand and justify the decision. You might recognize that. So you might hear yourself saying things like, I hear myself say, like, I don't know why, but it feels right. I don't know why I chose to do this. It just feels right. So even saying I don't know why means I am still in the programming of wanting to know why. But if you want to live a more aligned life, you want to help yourself feel more. Because everything that is being communicated to you from source, from your guides, from intuition, from your inner knowing, from your soul, from God, is coming through you through sensations and feelings that turn into a message or a sign that you can get, receive. And it may be different for you than for me. So the first thing you want to practice, if you want to work on this, like our humans, we humans want to work, like I want to know how to do this. Like many of you have, uh, have replied saying, I want to learn how to do this. I want to, so, and, and it's all about the doing, but this is just how we're wired. Let's not try to not be like that. This is how you and I have been wired this is the body, the vessel, the instrument that we're working with today, right? So let's just embrace that and instead of trying to be less of a thinker, or I want to invite you to discover and explore for yourself how you receive guidance. And you don't have to go to the forest to do it. You can do this everywhere. The better you get at this, the better you will be able to receive all signs you need to get. Even when you're in the middle of a conversation or when you're driving or when you're watching TV or when you're calling someone. And this is what I would want for you. So, like I said, start with the smaller things. And that could be as simple as I have a cup of tea here. Do I want to take a sip now? or not? Am I thirsty? Or am I just longing for something warm? 
or is it comfort? Or is it not speaking to me at all now? You know what? I don't actually, actually don't want to sip. This is the first steps in living a more conscious, aligned life. What do I want to eat tonight? Can you feel and have your body or soul reply to that rather than your head? Like, I don't have a lot of time. I have a meeting at seven. So it'd be best if I make something. No, what, what if you would take that decision from a different place? So I want to invite you right here, right now to practice this. So I want you, if you're willing to take the invitation to either close your eyes or look at a point somewhere in front of you, like maybe a meter and a half down or any other way that you feel you can shift from to just being present in the moment. So just do it any way you feel works for you today. This is the start of it. I don't know best. You know best. Nobody else knows best for us. And let's just breathe in and out a couple of times together so we can fully land, as I always say, land into the present moment. And now notice what you can sense in your body. And if you feel, feel like you're not sensing anything, I'll give you a couple of things that you might probably be sensing right now. You may feel like your breath has deepened. Like you feel a bit heavy in positive terms, like you feel very grounded. You maybe feel your shoulders going down, you may feel a certain ease flow into your being, that kind of stuff. Just sit with it for a couple of seconds. And what you're doing right now is you're tuning your body to be focused on the senses. I'm here, I'm present. You're not doing anything. Can you feel the difference this already makes for your day? Can you feel how easy it is to just be? And maybe if there's anything that's going through your mind or it's that you've been asking yourself or trying to figure out in the past days, if you want to ask a question to you, like you want to receive some guidance, this would be the moment to ask.
And concluding on this, you can go back to this after the video and, and sit with this for a little longer. When you're getting signs, they're always right. They're always the truth. Because I hear people say sometimes, clients saying, but I'm not getting anything. I say, yes, you are. What, you, what you're getting is silence. What you're getting is nothingness. And they go, oh, oh. And I go, mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. So, again, try to bypass the thinking and translate the feeling into simply the, the first thing that comes to mind. So when you're not getting guidance, don't say you're not getting guidance because you're always getting guidance, always. You ask a question about a certain problem or question or thing that you're thinking about. The thing that comes straight after that is the sign, is the guidance. If something drops, it means you probably have to drop something or you've been missing something that was trying to be communicated to you. So if you or if you're getting nothing, then you're getting nothing. If you're getting feeling restless, then you probably need to move. Just keep it super simple and try to not understand it. We are in a huge transformation as a collective where we're going to remember that we can respond and act based on the sensation and feeling rather than the interpretation of that sensation and feeling. I may be way too advanced already in this first video, but what I mean by that is when we're getting a sign, act. Don't sit with it going, what, what does it mean? I just can't get my head around what it's trying to tell me. No. <laughs> what would be the first response? What would be your first response after getting that sign? Do that. If you can help yourself to not think about everything, you will immediately feel so much calmer, so much more aligned, so much happier. I actually want to sip now. And my feet are... What is that word? We say sleeping in Dutch. I'm sitting like this. And this is also the invitation. When you're sitting, meditating, there is no one or nothing telling you you need to stay in that certain position. You can't move. So my big invitation to you in this first video, and then I'm going to stop because like I said, if I start talking about this, I'll be talking forever, is to get a better understanding of what alignment means. I hope you got that from the, the simple explanation that I gave. Start training yourself in feeling more, being more present with the smaller signs. So I want you to take one or two decisions that you need to make today. Small decisions like, am I going to the toilet now or am I going to wait until the meeting is finished? And maybe what am I going to eat tonight? I want you to take that decision, those two or something else from this feeling state. Do I want coffee or tea? That kind of decision and start practicing with that this week and, and maybe share. It'd be interesting for all of us to share that and hear from each other in the comments, how that is changing your experiences or your feeling, whatever. I'm not going to define for us what our experience needs to be, but just tell me what that was like for you. Second, and then the third is, you'll notice that you'll be much more present with yourself. That is alignment in its purest form, being very present with yourself and we're not separate. So when you're present with yourself, you're present with everything around you. As you can see, we've got many animals and I hear a lot. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but since we were sitting here, we've been sitting here together, I can feel we're very connected to the grounds and everything around us. So when you're more present, immediately you found more alignment. That is it. Just sitting, 
breathing. You don't even need to quiet your mind. That is all stuff that we in the Western world are trying to be, but our brains are different. You don't have to. Maybe you're the kind of person that gets a lot of information from a very busy mind. Embrace that. The minute you stop trying to be something and someone that you're not, that in itself is more alignment. Do you get that? That is finding more alignment. There is no right or wrong. There is only the you way of doing this that I really want to invite you to embrace. Because you're so present, start recognizing the signs. Start exploring and being best friends with your intuition and guidance and, and understanding how they speak to you. And give yourself the freedom to act on it straight away. The wind is turning and we can now hear the road. You can hear cars on the road. They want to be part of it. <laughs> the busy speed of life, of pushing and doing and making things happen. <laughs> yeah, it wants to be part of it as well. Yeah. That's it, my friends, for the first things I wanted to share about this. I hope this was clear to you because it's such a big topic. I have been thinking about launching, relaunching. I did a, um, when I was a, working as a business coach, I did a three video, three day thing, like, like the th things you do as, as a business coach, right? When you're launching a program. <laughs> um, but it was very valuable. And I talked about how to create the things, like how the natural process of creating and manifesting actually works and how simple it is and how you can turn that into your normal like everyday way of being and, and moving around through life um that might be a cool thing that we could do together maybe but again like i said i feel i felt very comfortable talking about all of this even knowing it was for the french country life channel but i do feel that um I do feel that it would be so lovely if I wouldn't feel any restrictions in how long I can talk about this and what I'll be saying. So I'm inviting you to, uh, like I said in the other video, sign up for the um, for the newsletters that I write. Not very, not not every week, but whenever I feel inspired for it. Um, and I will be doing these kind of videos maybe there as well, or maybe those those three-day videos it was really lovely because we as a group we went through this finding more alignment manifesting what we want journey together which is always whenever you do this in a group it just amplifies the energy so let me know if that's interesting uh, see i'm just playing and i'm going to sit with it and i'm just going to play with all these ideas that i have talking about the magpie because that is the last thing that i wanted to share and promised I would share a little bit about that was actually the magpie that told me you need to start talking about this again because I quit most of my activities last year I still do one-to-one -one retreats and um, but very little just a few uh, and and it's just and that's all about finding alignment and then changing your life and work according to you know what you've just discovered that you really want and you really want to want to and need to be doing um but other than that i i don't really share about it as much as i did before and when the magpie came in it was just telling me you hello you have a message and it, it can be heard um so please do share about it which is why i added that little bit at the end uh, that little voiceover at the end of the video so i'm just taking that invitation and like i said i'm getting lots of ideas about maybe doing that that three-day thing together and also what's been coming through is doing maybe a small group retreat uh about 
all the, the basics of just like the, how can you turn the basics of finding more alignment into daily habits or but something that works for you because I don't meditate every day <laughs> I ac actually never meditate because um, I have my own ways of being in this permanent state of alignment uh, and dropping off maybe every once in a while especially with the challenges we're all facing right now but it's so important that you find your personal ways of being aligned the majority of the time. And so I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if I would just have this small group of maybe three, four or five maximum people spending a couple of days here and then we'll just do the things that we're doing now, like we're just sitting and being and with some transmitting of the knowledge of... I have so... because I have... see. I never stopped talking. These are all the things that Magpie had given me. It was giving me, it, it's just so many ideas like, why aren't you doing that, Marlos? Why aren't you doing, why aren't you sharing with the world that you'd be welcoming people and, and help them get, you know, just help them experience this and then they can take it home because it is so needed. And that was the the core message the world needs people who are aligned see now all the noise is coming in so this is why all the noise there's actually a plane so the world is full of noise and people who are kind of lost in terms of we've forgotten how to be aligned and living our truth and even knowing what it is even knowing what we're supposed to be doing in the world what our life purpose is we're so distracted there are see that all these distractions coming in now and i've experienced how easy it is to cut out that noise and live so full in alignment and also trusting because i've made many changes in my life i've taken huge financial risks as well um, but it always, you know, it always works out. It's, and that's because you learn to just go with that flow of creating and being and attracting whatever is needed. And then you'll be supported with whatever your choices in life are. And so it's so interesting. See, this is the way I live. I work with, even for my personal choices, with all, you hear all the noise? I don't even know if you can hear it. Anyway. I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And yeah, let me know if you if you take my invitation of being more present in the coming days and maybe want to share any feelings or any experiences with me and everybody else watching this. Thank you for being here. This has been quite a surprising and lovely journey so far, this English channel. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye. It's cold. I want hot tea.